Those who played in the NFL say seeing Tua getting slammed to the turf and his reaction was shocking and immediately raised concerns for his safety. I was devastated. I was uh, got a bunch of texts from friends um, all over the mainland and in Hawaii. It was definitely a scary sight. I've been in games where guys have you know gotten stretchered off and uh, it's, it's, never, it's never fun to see that, especially when someone, you know, like Tua. Concerns not only about his immediate health, but also about the young quarterback's future. Understand the gravity and how brutal and violent this game is, and you just pray for something that's uh, not going to be long term. Tua was already hurt during Sunday's game. The team said it was a back injury, so the team is facing a bit of criticism about letting Tua play on Thursday. The NFL Players Association is investigating. On a short week, you know, a Sunday, Thursday turnaround, you know, you're putting the player at risk, even though if it was just a back injury. If it was, you know, you're not going to heal, you know, in that short of a time. You just hope that it was diagnosed properly the first time, and you hope that there was nobody complicit with just thinking about winning. Miami's head coach says all the safety protocols were followed. I wouldn't have put him out there if, if there was any inclination given to me whatsoever that he was endangering himself. Former players point out that there's a lot of pressure for a player to get back on the field even when they're hurt. You want to get out every Sunday and be with your teammates and and do all that but uh, when it comes to your head and your brain yeah it's um, it's something that uh, could have lifelong lasting uh, effects. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.